and today I'm going to show you how I come about making these by using only items from my home. So the first thing I did was, because um, I didn't have any paint, so I thought, right, well I've got some um, food colouring. And the first thing I was going to do is to make some paint out of food colouring. So what you do is you get your food colouring and you need a good squirt of it, so you get quite a good pigment. And then you add a tiny bit of water and some flour. And you can, depending on what uh, consistency you want, you add more or less flour as much as you need. For this project, you probably need it quite thick because we're going to be using some of the pictures going to be printed on from items that we've got in our home. Okay, so that's the brown colour there. Now, I've also made up some food colouring and water, which is in a little spray bottle, which is great. And you can find old spray bottles, well, um, your parents have are not used anymore, or um, whatever really. And so, this one, I'm going to start with the background. So I've got an old sticker that I found. Um, you can use anything as a as a like a um, mask. <laughs> so, um, so the first thing is I'm going to do the background for our picture. Okay, so we're going to do the background and with our sticker as a mask and we're going to spray, so I want some like a cloud effect. So this is yeah, just food colouring and water, which I think is actually quite nice. It gives it a sort of watercolour effect. I've actually marked down the paper because I find it gives it a bit of a border and also when it's wet it will bubble. Now when it's dry what will happen is, I've just realised I didn't mask down that side, what will happen is it will, should dry flat. So you, this is just like masking tape and you use that just to mask down the picture and the paper. Um, the next step is we're going to get some bubble wrap. You can use anything. I mean, I've got lots of different things here, corrugate paper. I found a feather this morning in my garden. Some sponge. And I've also got some pieces of vegetable. So anything that's... And these are off-cuts that I cut, obviously, for a soup. Some foil. Okay, a little bit of broccoli. And brushes. So what we do is... Now, we can either put the paint that we have onto a tray that I have and then print from there or you can literally paint straight on to the item that you're using. So in this case I'm going to... You can use paint, you can use emulsion paint, acrylic paint, anything you want but if you want to start with the food colouring it's a good idea also as well, it means that because I'm using rolling, rolling pins, it means you won't get poisoned. <laughs> so my first thing is going to just put this down and make, hopefully, a textured background. And you're building it up, so you're adding different layers. Um, and I'm going to want some... I think I'm going to go for sort of like a bluey brown. So you can mix up these paints if you want. Which so I'm going to put this down on my tray. This is just an old white tray that I've got. Experiment with the textures, which is always a good idea. Just find out what works and what doesn't. And here. I'm doing my garden. This is my garden. So at the back of my garden is a, a, a sort of browny coloured, it's actually blue, bluey brown fence. So this is the effect I'm going for. So there's our 
textured fence. So now I want some grass. Also, I've got some cans here for things like mantra or holding brushes. So it's quite handy. Um, again, from the home. So, this is a nice green colour. Actually, with this, I'll paint straight onto it. I just realised it's better to paint straight on. So these are just elastic bands. They're old hair bands um, that you can wrap around the rolling pin. You can use string, wire. I suppose you have a look around, see what you can find. And the idea is that you roll it on to get this sort of effect change it around. And then you get sort of like a nice grass effect. And then for our flowers, let me put the paint down there. Um, we're going to add so these broccolis are lovely because you can just get that really nice. I've got some alums in my garden which were beautiful. I've actually um you just put dab your bits everywhere. Anywhere you want. And this is quite nice. Uh, some nice red I put down there. Doesn't matter if it mixes up, it's actually quite nice if it mixes about. There's a piece of represent roses, we'll see. <laughs> Don't worry if it doesn't come out as how you want it. That's the nice thing about it. It's quite random, but it is a really nice effect. And you can always add to it afterwards with felt tip pens. Um, I mean, I added, for that picture there, I added a little bit of makeup to get that sparkly effect and I added it to the to the um, food colouring to make that effect. So there you go, so you've got that and mess around with it a bit just to get that effect. If you've got some some old paper or some loose print it's nice to sometimes just go over it a bit to get so nice flat, so you get more of a, um, a smudgy effect. It's almost like a watercolor, really. And you can go back with your bottles. This one's this is an orange spray, so that's quite pretty. And this one's the blue one, so you can go back on that if you want. And if you really want to, you can go back with a paintbrush. And I did actually try to make some birds earlier. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll try again. Get some black, the black food colouring. It's quite nice. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Amazing, but that's something. And then you can you can go back with your paintbrush again, or you can go back to back to the same bits again, just to see if you want to fill them in a bit more. Or go back on with another colour. And I'm actually a bit cheeky in going back with a paintbrush to get that effect. actually so this this you'll get probably a sort of stronger effect so if you do use motion paints or other paints you get that mix it sort of I think 
that's about it really. Um, maybe a bit of blue in the back there, just to get that darker effect in the back. And as I said, when it's dried, you can go over with um, a felt tip pen, you can go over with other items, you can really build it up as I did here. And actually, I worked into this one. I got a um, paintbrush and actually had got the other end and just worked through and then went over with some of the food colouring again to get that effect. And this one I just went to town on. <laughs> just, you can, actually you can um, do some splutters if you feel like splattering a bit. And then you let that dry, and once that's dry, it should go nice and flat. And then when it's really dry, then you can take off your tape. So there it is, a picture, mixed media really, I suppose. Well, not mixed media, I suppose, mixed printing and painting with food colouring. <laughs>